Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today I'm going to teach you how to paint a masquerade mask on your face with a crap ton of liquid lion eyeliner, some liquid lipstick, some glitter. We did it all. So if you want to see how we completed this look, stay tuned. It'll start playing as soon as I'm done talking. Make sure you like this video and make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see these videos live every Wednesday night, make sure to follow me on Facebook. It's listed down below in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Hello. All right. My wig's being a little pain in the butt right now. So I got to straighten that out. It's sticking to my eyebrows. So tonight we're going to be doing a masquerade look. My eyes are red with contacts and red with uh, the spicy fire of jalapeno because I was cutting jalapenos for dinner and then I put my contacts in. So my eyes are on fire. So I'm going to pin my bangs back because... A lot of this look is going to be on my face, duh. <laughs> so this is my inspiration. I was looking at a bunch of masks and I love these lace masks that um, I saw on Pinterest. So I stole this lady's face off Pinterest and uh, we're gonna kind of recreate it, put our own spin on it because I'm using liquid eyeliner. I bought a new liquid eyeliner, but I don't know if I have this much liquid eyeliner. So we're going to improvise. I even, I even bought some glitter liquid liner and we actually carry this It's from my company. But yeah, so I'm excited. We're going to be doing glitter. We're going to be doing some, uh, some loose glitter. And if I remember, I might forget. And I have new fake lashes. We're doing it all. And we're doing regular makeup. I, I feel like I don't do enough videos where I just do normal makeup. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a masquerade mask. We're painting it straight on our face. So that'll be fun. This will be one that you could wear to the office if you wanted to. Not too many of these would be office appropriate. So since we are doing regular makeup and you should always prime your face anyways, just because it creates that barrier, I'm going to put some of our primer on my face. I'm just laying it down. So when you prime your face, it's just like priming your walls before you paint them gonna make everything look better sorry for hitting the mic not intentional okay so this stuff feels like silk it's amazing I'm just gonna rub it on my face usually put it in my hair but you know with wigs it always feels like crap anyways this is actually my favorite wig I don't wear it very much just because it is my favorite the more I wear a wig the worse it gets so this one kind of just hides in the in the wig closet I have a box of wigs in my closet. That's how awesome I am. Okay, so since we are doing lace, I decided to wear lace, you know, just to kind of play off each other. And I'm going to do some like little Halloween extras this year. Usually I just, usually, I started this last year, but I would only do one video a week. So this season, I'm going to try and do a little bit extra, you know, get you all those Halloween looks you can possibly ever want to see before you unfollow me so yeah that's the goal to annoy the crap out of you so my first thing is going to be I'm going to map it out a little bit and then we can go in with the liquid liner because as we know we use this liquid liner it is waterproof it stays so we want to make sure when we do use it that we're sure about where we're placing it I put this in my mouth I did a tooth gap with it and it worked really good it stayed the whole video I'm going to get a brown pencil liner. Of course, it's not a uh, sharpen because we never sharpen our stuff on this channel. And of course, I can't find my sharpener. It's fine. We'll just go without it. So I'm going to get a mirror. And I think so in the picture, her eye is pretty much covered by the lace. But I kind of want to do an eyeshadow look. So I don't think I'm going to cover my whole face up. But I do think I'm going to do that uh, lace pattern up here towards my eyebrow. So let's give that a whirl. So let's see. We want our eyes. I'm trying to do this like as pretty as possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it though. I'm just going to follow like the natural curve of my face because it's there and I'm lazy. So we're just going to do that. OK, 
okay. I'm looking down. This chick's got like those eyes that follow you. It's kind of creepy. I say as I'm sitting on Facebook in a wig, <laughs> dressing up and doing makeup. I'm kind of creepy, but that's really creepy. <laughs> Okay, so I want to give myself enough room. Maybe we'll do like a cool little design. I don't know. We get to make it up. Let's do, yeah, let's do that. Let's kick it out. Okay, so there's, it kind of looks like one of those um, cloud bubbles that Say what you want to say. I don't know what those are called. Word clouds. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. Okay. Where'd we do it? See, now this one's going to look so much better. What the French toast. It's fine. We'll just put a bunch of glitter on it. No one's even going to notice. It's not even. I promise. And then we'll kick this one out. And, oh, you young people who don't have skin that flops around when you try and put eyeliner on it. I was at the dermatologist today and I was explaining something and I was like, oh, it's been like 20 years. And every part of me was like, you're not that old. I am that old. It shocked me. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was 20 years ago. Holy crap. Time does fly, you guys. Enjoy it while you can. Okay, so I think I'm going to go. I do like how that goes up on her forehead. I just hope I don't look like a bug when I do mine. So. Let's see. I'm just going to do a circle and then looks just like a boob, just like a boob, unintentional. Okay. I'm going to start with that. I've got a boob on my forehead. Hi, Deb. <laughs> you joined at just the right time. We're talking about boobs on our forehead. So we're going to try and make like an intricate lace pattern. We will cover this up. I've got to do something with it like ASAP or else it's going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to get our liquid liner in perfect. And let's all say a silent prayer because one, one mishap could ruin this whole look. And you'll see this has like a super fine point. Is that centered? Maybe I'll just have to tilt my head. It's fine. There we go. This stuff's amazing. I was doing a video, I can't remember which one it was, but I needed to use it and I couldn't get the thing opened because I don't wear regular makeup very often. And this one's usually in my regular makeup bag but it had glued itself shut. And I'll teach you guys a trick with liquid liner. Use your pinky to steady or your, well, I guess it is always your pinky. What am I talking about? Am I on crack? Hang on. Yeah, use your pinky to steady. Sorry. <laughs> you like how I ask myself all these important questions? So if you do it in the mirror, do this side like this do this side and then you can study with your pinky but the more stable you have like three points of contact people this doesn't have to be as scary as it is i mean i'm scared i'm sweating a lot because me and liquid liner don't have a very good history but you can do better than me i know it like that pep talk good okay i don't know where i was going with this boob shape on my forehead but Maybe we should just start drawing designs. We're going for lace. Let's make our own. 
Let's just make our own lace. Okay, so... Oops. So we'll do that. Didn't mean to do that so thick. So does everybody dress up for Halloween? Or is it just me? I mean, I'm kind of, I dress up year round, but. I'm kind of excited. I haven't decided what I'm going to be this year. Last year I dressed up for Halloween and it was super fun. I did that Hallow Queen. I think that was one of my best pumpkins I've ever made. And it was really fun to answer the door. I think I scared, I, I know I scared one kid. He did not want to get candy from me. Okay. So we got a boob. That's all we got so far. One boob coming right up. I have to like put a silver piece of glitter on that or something. It looks a little, a little PG thirteen. Probably shouldn't have chose such an intricate design, but it is what it is. Okay, let's draw this into our eyebrow. And I did glue my eyebrows down. Not that there's a lot of hair left on my eyebrows after I accidentally shaved them off, but it's actually way easier to do these looks with very little eyebrows. Just saying. Okay. Just gonna draw that. Oh, look at that. Fancy, fancy, one boob coming up. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, Roger. <laughs> Got to get with the times, right? Okay. And then let's... Let's take this down the nose in a very squiggly line about whatever this thing is on my nose honestly don't know what that was pretty sure it's not a booger but there's a good chance it is a booger okay I'm really gonna have to like turn sideways because I can't draw a straight line to save my life it's just one of the many talents I have Okay, let's see, how far down our nose do we want this to go? Her nose is almost covered, but I have such a big nose that I'm afraid if I cover my nose, I might look like a bank robber. So I might do it a little bit above my nose. And I might not do like a dot. We're making our own lace, so we're living our own lives. Let's see. That's where I'll stop it. We should line out where we're going to with this. So I want to come up my gigantic nostrils and then burp on camera because that's what we do here. And then I'm going to take this up right there. And then anything we mess up, we can cover up with regular makeup. Hooray. <coughs> God bless America. Okay. All right. Let's just start drawing some lace on now. Okay. If you hear a dog barking, that is our friendly neighborhood dog who seems to always know when I'm going live and always turns the bark charm on. So if any of my neighbors from that side ever watch my shows, just know you hold a special place in my heart. I don't think we'll ever have 
have to worry about them watching. Okay, see how awesome we're doing with this liquid eyeliner, people? Everyone struggles. The struggle is real. So now I'm going to thicken this up because we got to make it match now that we messed it up. Okay. 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 Oh, got a little creative there. Let's see how that pans out later. Kind of looks like a nose mustache. Oh, uh -huh, croissant. <laughs> I need a shirt that says that. It's like my favorite line. Oops. Drawn nose whiskers on accident. This side is a little bit worse than the other side. Mm, straight lines are not a talent of mine. Okay, we're uneven, we're fine. We're just doing our best, right? Mommy tried. Okay, now, since we did one, we should do two. No, it's not even. It's fine. All right. So her lace kind of looks way better. We're not going to compare ourselves anymore. Now I should just do lace like this. It might be a little bit easier for me for my tiny brain. Let's do... Something coming out of our eyebrow. A little bug mark. Oh, son of a, didn't even get in the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Wow, we are so good at this. So good. Nobody even tell me different because I won't believe you. We're rocking this like a hurricane. So I'm going with this uh, curly Q theme. I don't know where I... I'm going to go with it, but... We're going with it. And I think I actually might um, kind of copy the lace on my shirt. I don't know. It just seems like a good idea. If we got it on. We might as well copy it. Okay. I'm probably going to need to buy a new liquid eyeliner after this. Okay, it looks even if I look sideways. 
great success. Okay, so let's look at our lace we got on now. It's kind of got like a million lines, so maybe we'll just start in here. We'll start detailing the boob, which now looks kind of like an ice cream cone for all you kids out there. So I think I'm just gonna cross hatch. That might look the best. What do we think so far? Are you getting lace vibes? Are the vibes so lacy? <laughs> This might end up looking like a mess. I don't know. Too early to tell. It doesn't look horrible. I think once it gets filled in, it'll just be like one of those things where you're like, girl, she did awesome. Because I know you guys all do that. My silent cheerleaders. I know you're there somewhere out there on Facebook. Sorry, I had to burp again. I don't know what's gotten into me. I made this quinoa. Quinoa. For all you people out there who know how to pronounce it right. I made some quinoa. I'm sure there's a bunch of people cringing out there. But, I really liked it. It's uh, kind of like Tex-Mex. So it has like black beans and tomatoes, corn, jalapenos, which is where I got the nice eye burn from because I had some jalapenos still on my finger while I put my contacts in. Fun times, fun times. Let's never remember it again. But yeah, it's really good. Although I don't think I cooked it long enough. Boom. If only winged eyeliner was this easy, right? If you could just do winged eyeliner all the way out to your hairline. Whoa, anyone want to see what old age is? That was a straight line. <laughs> I think I might leave it. We can make that look lacy. That's bad. I keep saying old age. It's because I had to say 20 years ago at a doctor's appointment. I like got in my head. I'm not ready to get old. And even the medical assistant, she's like, you don't look like you're old enough to have anything done 20 years ago. I was like, girl, thank you. I feel very old, but I'm pretty sure that's just a being 30 thing. It happens to the best of us. Oh my god, it happened on this eye too. Even worse. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's my eye wrinkles. They're taking this look in their own direction. It's fine. We'll just go with it. We'll make those into dots. I'm probably going to run out of liquid eyeliner. then it'll be an emergency. Okay. Same thing on this eye. We're just rolling with the punches. We know these aren't going to be equal because apparently my left eye is a little bit more wrinkly than my right eye. Or the skin just doesn't feel like hanging on very good. Anybody else have that problem? No, just me? Okay. All right, I'm going to give the, the mask grade mask a little bit of a break. If 
feel like I've been doing it for quite a while. Okay, one more thing. I'm just going to connect it. Then we're going to do my eye look. Also want to let my, uh, my liquid eyeliner take a rest. I don't know if that's a thing, but I feel like if I draw any more tiny lines, I'll go crazy. And nobody wants that. Okay. Let's do, let's do a real smoky eye. So I think I'm going to whip out this gigantic palette of eyeshadows that I'm never going to use in my whole life. So if you want to be willed it, send me a private message. Just don't wish death upon me. You'll get it when I die. Okay. Enough of the sad sheet. Let's start. Um, let's do a base. All about the base. About the base. See if I have a clean brush. Kind of do. So I'm going to use the color Nimble right here. It's like the best, I think it's called a nut brown. I'm not kidding. But it's a really good transition shade. All of my brushes come free with dog hair. And I'm just gonna put that into my crease and kind of up above my crease. But you see how pretty that is? You can wear this like every day. If you wore makeup every day, if I wore makeup every day, I'd wear this color. Because I'm nimble. I don't really know what that means. Alexa, define nimble. The adjective nimble is usually defined as quick and light in movement, moving with ease. Definitely active, not that. Active, nope. rapid. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for nimble. Yeah, I lied when I said I'm nimble. Grace and nimble is not something. Fast, definitely not me. So my pants are on fire. I'm not nimble, but this color is super pretty. Super pretty. Okay. Just keep windshield wipering your eyeshadow on. Eventually you'll be done. Does anybody else sing? as they do stuff. I go through spurts. Like right now I feel like I've been doing it quite a bit. I just got a crazy idea. Should we do a like super dark smoky eye with some red to match my eyes? What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you think that's a good idea. If you don't, we could just go, uh, we could go vanilla with this, you know? Vanilla is then stick to the neutral tones. You tell me, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Thumbs up for a red smoky eye. Who has thumbs that do this, by the way? All right. You must vote. You have no choice. I will know if you don't. Just kidding. Um, now where in the French is my sharpener? Going to drive me nuts. Hi, Mom. Are you down? Are you a fan of the red smoky eye? Do you know where I put my dang sharpener? That's a bummer. Okay, we'll do the smoky eye. I'm just gonna need to like sharpen this with my teeth apparently. Let's look in my bag of tricks. It's gotta be somewhere. Right? Why would I hide that from myself? Not cool, Kim. Not cool. We'll make it work. It's fine. I'm going to use lip liner. What I have left of it. There's a good chance this is going to poke me in the eye. But I really want a solid red base. I was going to use some uh, red lip. Which, you know what? We might color coordinate. Matchies. But for now, we're just going to use um, eyeliner. We'll, or lip liner. We'll see how it goes. If it like totally bombs, then we'll go to go do lipstick. Um, yeah, this is working really well. You can see how awesome it's drawing onto my eyelid and it hurts. We're going the lipstick route. Son of a bee. Okay. <gasps> and I wonder if this is dry. Oh, it's not. We can use this old red glitter that I have from Christmas. However many years ago that I bought it. I don't know. We're gonna be glittery. It's gonna be amazing. So exciting. Is this the color Stubborn? 
This is a matte liquid lipstick. These things are pretty awesome. They also last a lifetime. So if anybody wants to be willed that, let me know. Um, I'm going to get this dirty brush, but it's small. It's going to work fine. So we're going to kind of do a fade. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do a fade, red to black. And hopefully it looks amazing. And if it doesn't, we'll just do a full black smoky eye. But I have a feeling this is going to look amazing. So who here has never put lipstick on their eyes? I have a feeling that not very many people do this. I do all the time, but I'm kind of an exception. I'm an exception to the rule. I'm excited to see how this will turn out. I've never done red. So that'll be fun. And I'm just following my natural crease. You always know where your crease is by a... You could shove your brush in there. Is that a weird way to explain your crease? It's where your eye folds. It's either an eye fold or where you can shove your brush. Whatever you feel like describing it as. But for anybody who has, I feel like I'm giving you every single makeup tip I have just because I'm doing real makeup. So sorry for the overload. But if you have hooded eyelids, which mine go hooded, it depends on the day. Sometimes I'm super swollen and my eyes are hooded and sometimes they're not. But if you have a hooded eye, go above your crease. So see how I kind of have eyeshadow all the way up here? Just know that wherever you have darker color, it's going to push that area back. It's going to trick people's eyes to push that area back. So if you do have hooded eyes, don't put white eyeshadow all over your eyes. It'll just draw attention to it. But do put a darker color or a more neutral brown right above your crease, and it'll just kind of push that hood back a bit. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm putting liquid lipstick on my eyelids. Take it or leave it. That's what I'm giving you tonight. I'm giving you some awesome makeup tips from someone who's kind of okay at doing makeup. But, okay. I don't know why I said but. I wasn't going to add anything else. I take my butt back. That sounds weird. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Feeling sexy. I'm not sure that was believable. Okay, I'm going to take a fluffy brush, but not a really loose fluffy brush. So it's more like a dense, and it is dirty. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to dip into some black eyeshadow. Oh, you know what? I was talking about it last week, and I actually did it. I bought some gray eyeshadow. So we're going to transition. We're going to do this right. We're going to do it how the YouTubers do it. So I'm going to get this gray color. It's actually called Irrational, and it's Slate. So I'm going to get this slate color and let me clean this brush real quick. You know when you almost drop something and you do like, oh, that was just me. Okay, so I'm going to use my brush cleaner, clean my brush. This is a fluffy brush. And I'm going to dip into this slate. And then we're going to go into the crease and blend it in. Mmm. -hmm girl feeling sexy. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. It's really creepy. I think I just like saying sexy. This show is going to be rated PG-13 tonight. We talked about boobs. We're saying the sex word. Okay. That looks really pretty. So don't worry, we're not going to leave it like this. We're doing one of those 15 step uh, smoky eyes. So with a smoky eye, you always want to add, go light, add more, go light, add more. Cause you never want to like start with the black and then decide that you wanted to uh, not look like a raccoon. So it's always better to go light and then you can always add more. 
And you're probably wondering why we even put that brown color down. I promise you it serves its purpose. I can't really explain what that is right now, but it does serve a purpose. And it might just be to use up the eyeshadow. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it gives me a little more movability. There, we'll say that. Gives you movability. I'm getting liquid lipstick all over my brush. So now I'm going to kind of blend into that liquid lipstick. I don't know why that was so hard to say. And then we're just going to do that windshield wiper motion just here because we are blending a cream lipstick into a powder. That was a really heavy gulp. And we just want it to kind of blend. So now I'm going to take that dense packed brush. We're going to put that slate colored eyeshadow away. And now I'm going to get some black. And we're going to pack it on there. So this is our deluxe brush. And it's pretty deluxe. So when I do a smoky eye, I like to do like a V. I almost like screwed up the letter V. Okay, so I like to do a V and the darkest color on the outside. But since we're going super glam, I'm gonna bring it in kind of towards the middle, but we're still gonna go in a V. We're just gonna take it out further and take it in further. And with black, you always kind of wanna pat it on just because if you get fallout on your face, it really sucks. And then I'm just gonna kind of tap a little bit in the middle. We'll blend that in, it'll look beautiful. This is really cool. So far, so good. I don't know why I keep making weird faces, but. And then every time I do a smoky eye, I always bring it down because not only does it open your eye up a little bit, smoky eyes tend to make your eyes look a little smaller because you are doing a darker color. So it is pushing a lot back. It's gonna make your eyes appear smaller. So even just doing that little bit of eyeshadow, it doesn't look trashy or anything. It just opens that eye back up. I like to go all the way in, but I think I'm gonna mesh that uh, that red in as well. Looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I think it's this wig that makes me feel so pretty. If I didn't love being blonde so much, I think I would be a brunette. I think if I stopped dyeing my hair, I'd probably be a brunette too. The older I get, the more brown it's turning. But it's not this pretty brown. Like the color my hair is turning is like mousy colored. That's a weird way to explain it. It's just not pretty. Okay. Yas. Okay, so now we have to blend. This is the worst part about doing any type of a smoky eye is you just have to blend. Some people are into blending. I personally feel like my time could be spent doing more important things, but we're here for the look. So I'm gonna take a clean brush, no product on it. If you guys need a good brush cleaner, not that I'm like pushing my products or anything, but this thing is like the shiz. You can clean a brush and use it right away. It doesn't make your brush like all wet and slimy and gross. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of blend that all in. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back in and add more black. That's the way these things go. But when in doubt, blend it out. And then we'll start finishing up the lace detail and then we'll add some glitter, do some face makeup because I noticed in every single picture, these girls have perfect skin. So we're going full coverage tonight. So now when I'm adding this black back in, I'm just going to do it in that outer V and we're not gonna blend it. That's really gonna lift. And my chair's making squeaky noises. I promise I'm not farting. Promise. Now, 
All right, we got liquid lipstick on our hand. We can't forget about that. That would be bad. Let's do a little bit of lipstick to kind of connect the black with the red. Gotta be careful putting red around your eyes. Not that it's dangerous or anything. It probably isn't like wise to put liquid lipstick next to your eyeballs, but it can make you look sick. So if you ever like want to put pink eyeshadow under your eyes, just be careful or else people are going to be like, you look tired today. And you'll be like, I watched a Kim tutorial. Never watching her again. Don't let it happen to you. Okay. There's our smoky eye. We're going to do a winged liner. I'm, I'm going to try and use up all of this liquid liner. Just kidding. That's not the goal. It ain't cheap. Okay. Let's finish doing this lace. All right, I need to draw a line here. Because one thing I do wanna keep, because our original picture, she does have like some chunky bits around her eyes. That's not a good descriptor, but these things, the ladder, that's what we're going for right there. So, there we go. Now it's just going to be drawing a bunch of lines and connecting all these areas together. Hopefully we can disguise my hair, my eyebrow hair, as something more interesting. Um, let's do... I don't want to like overdo the lace pattern, but I feel like now that we've started, we probably shouldn't stop. And now we're in it too far. We can't stop now. And I can't draw a straight line on my nose, as you can see. It happens to the best of us. I don't know about this. We'll just have to see how this looks once we're done. I think it might be too much. Mm, I don't know. I might end up looking like Batwoman. That woman, that woman. Okay. I might stop this right there. And we'll just kind of try and make it look good. Because I feel like we kind of lost that curly cue. But it's looking cool, right? What do you guys think? Might have to go over that with some extra black. I'm using a lot of liquid eyeliner. Okay, and we'll just do the same thing, cross hatching for dummies. Of course this side doesn't look as good. Okay, let's 
see. Maybe we can just make this. Maybe we'll cross hatch up and just keep that for right here. And then we'll do something cool on the bottom. But I feel like if I cross hatched this whole thingy, it would look a little muddy. And I don't know if I have the patience. Or the liquid eyeliner left over. Okay. Now let's cross hatch that. Gosh, this has got to be some boring shiz to watch. Me drawing a bunch of straight lines on my face. But I'm glad you're here. Okay. I should try sleeping in this and see if it's there tomorrow. Probably would be. Okay. What do we think so far? Are you getting like masquerade vibes? I feel like it looks pretty masquerade -y. I feel like maybe, maybe we could put some red up in our eyebrows rather than doing, because we were just going to do the chunks, but we can put red up there and kind of blend it all together. Just kind of brings it all. I'm filling it. Can't go back now, so I guess I kind of have to be filling it. I'm not going to lie, it's really hard to paint inside of these tiny A lions I made for myself. I guess it's practice. I always complain about not being very good with my detail work, so look what we do now. Okay, since we're not going to be doing the crosshatch stuff down here, because it did take away some of the detail, let's see what we can do. So I do know, let's see, some lace has like frillies on it at the end, so we'll try and do that. We'll make like frilly pieces of lace. So we're basically just going to draw eyelashes on everything. And then we're also going to bring this down. Oh, I probably should have waited till I did my makeup. We'll do one more and then we'll, we'll really have to work around that. Okay. So time for frillies. I don't know how this is going to look. Is it giving lace vibes or weird eyelash vibes? I feel like they kind of look like bugs now. I'm probably not going to do that over my whole face. Now I gotta make the other side match. Son of a bee. We're gonna have like first grade hands drawn on our face. Oh well. Maybe I'll just do things like that. I messed it up. this look either. Mm. Maybe I'll just fill it in with my shadow. Color good. I don't know what I was thinking. 
but apparently it was of bugs. Okay. Not horrible. Maybe we should do like another curly cue inside of here. That makes it look a little better. Let's see if I can do the same thing over here. Kind of looks the same. I'm gonna go with it. Let's do some more tchotchkes coming off our brow. And then we'll do regular makeup. Throw some lashes on, call it good. I thought this was gonna be a short one. I underestimated my abilities, as always. Oops. Okay, I feel like we've got a good base. Let's put some slate colored eyeshadow on the inside. We will clean our brush once again. Always cleaning. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna kind of shadow in this blank area so that it doesn't stick out so much because we want it to look mask-like. We don't want it to appear that we have anything but a mask on. That's part of the part of the ruse. Well, that kind of looks cool. So we'll just keep doing that. Blending and blending. I'm going to make sure to not get it into my eye area since that's technically supposed to be where the mask stops. And I'll take it up into my, my lace work too, just so we can be uniform the whole way. Be careful around my my liquid lipstick stuff. This also kind of soften the lines and it might give it more of a realistic look. Kind of added a shimmer I wasn't planning on, but it's fine. Totally fine. Mm, that does make it look kind of pretty, especially from far away. <laughs> I feel like that's majority of my makeup. Oh, it looks pretty from far away. Okay, I'm feeling a little more, a little more better. Not very good at English, apparently. I'm feeling a little bit better about where this went now. Um, let's put on some makeup. So I'm going to be using our full coverage foundation and it's stick foundation, which is really fun because you can draw shapes all over your face. And I'm kind of in between colors, so I'm going to use two because I can. So I'm using the color chiffon and the color organza and I'm using a crap ton of it. You don't need this much. I feel like I do. Don't judge me. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, I hope this is clean. There's a good chance it's not clean. If I turn out looking like green or something, just ignore me. Just gonna buff our problems away. 
and then buff it down in my neck. Hit the mic because everybody likes that. Hmm. Might have to go over that guy. Well, my nose still looks gray, but I don't want them all. We'll just call it part of the outfit. Now let's see how much we can get in our wig. It's a fun game I like to play. I'm going to have to redraw these lines. Probably should have put face makeup on before I did my whole look. Lesson learned. Oh well. Okay. Let's draw this line back on. Okay. I feel better about this. Shall we do a wing? I think we shall. Let's see if we have some liquid eyeliner left over. So we're gonna do a wing and put on some fake eyelashes because I don't feel like we do that enough. Okay, I'm gonna do a big wing. One thing I love about this liquid eyeliner as you can see that tip, it's very sharp. Not like it's gonna hurt you, but it won't give you a crappy, a crappy line. Okay, so I'm just gonna connect it all the way into my lash line. Boom. You guys, that was the easiest wing I think I've ever done. I'm feeling very sultry. Very sultry. I think it's the brown hair. I'm going to have to do a red lip too. Don't let me forget. Because I will. I have the memory of a goldfish. We can't have both eyes look good, right? Of course, this one's going to be a pain. I feel like this is the game we all play when we do a wing. The one side looks great. You do the other side, then you got to add to the other side. It's a trap. Okay. I feel like they're somewhat even, right? I'm going with it. I'm really digging the way this looks. So we're gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna get a brush. Not that one, gross. I'm gonna get this brush. I'm gonna dip it into our brow palette, our old and trusty. I'm gonna do the light brown. We're just gonna kind of shadow this to make it look like it's sitting on top of our face. Keep all the jokes to yourself. So this is just going to kind of soften that line too. This chair is super squeaky. I hope you can't hear it. Because it does sound just like farts. Okay. Set a little bit under here. Let's 
Okay, we're gonna go with that. And let's get some eyelash glue. Don't date, I stop my eyelash glue. I know I just had it in here. Where, oh, there it is, right in front of my eyes. Got some new eyelashes at good old Walmart. They were on sale. So they're not too crazy, but they're gonna be fun. I might even try this trick I saw on a uh, on good old Facebook for making your lips bigger with eyelash glue. We'll try it. It'll be funny. Anyways, so for anybody who is watching this on the replay and skips to the end, you better watch it to the very end just to see how big I can get my lips to look. So I put my lash glue on and when you do eyelash glue, you want it to get tacky. So I use this uh, Kiss brand and then you just wait for it to turn from that white color to more of a clear color because they're very hard to move around and get to stick if they're still very wet. So you want it tacky. And then I always use tweezers. This is something that a lot of girls struggle with and I watched a million YouTube videos a couple years ago and I got pretty good at it. So I use tweezers and then I always go in like this. I look down at my mirror and I always stick in the middle first and then you stick your side down and then you stick this side down. And it works like a charm every single time. I say that, that's a lie. It works like a charm 99% of the time. I love eyelashes. My eyes really hate eyelash glue, but I love eyelashes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do our other eye. And then we'll do our lips. Our lips. So, oh, I was gonna do glitter too. I'm sorry guys, this is gonna be a long one. Lucky you. I really wanted to use this glitter liner, but I don't know that silver is gonna really jive with this. I think the stocking glitter I have from Christmas last year is gonna be pretty bomb. I need to like replenish my Halloween kit now that there's a bunch of Halloween stuff out. So stick in the middle, stick down your side, stick down your end. And boom. I feel like that's not even stuck on because it's not. One hard thing about using tweezers is your eyelashes will also stick to those, which is super fun when it happens. Oh well. These sewn beaches. I just need to get the eyelashes that go on the ends because I always have issues with the beginning parts. They drive me nuts. Let's put some glitter on. Actually, let's try this lip trick. So I saw this on the internet, so it's probably not safe for you to do. We're gonna make our lips big. So I'm gonna sacrifice some of my lady mustache. We're gonna let that glue get tacky. Speaking of tacky, let's put some glitter on our eyes. This is glitter made for stockings. This is not safe to put near your eyes. Please do not do this, go blind and then blame me. I'm not rich enough for you to sue. It's not worth your time. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Do you love it? It almost looks like I bought makeup specifically to do this. Mm-hmm. kind of looks wet which is gross, but I've been seeing all these pictures on Instagram of chicks who do like their makeup and then they put lip gloss over their eyelids 
to make it look wet. And I'm like, do they do it just for the picture or are people actually walking around with like wet looking makeup? Would you wear wet looking makeup? I think it'd drive me nuts. Your hair would stick to it. It'd crease really bad. I'm really digging this. I can't forget about that lash glue on my lip. Okay. I feel like it's it's not tacky enough. Probably put too much. Okay. My lips are really dry too. So in the video, she did this. This is very weird. We'll see if it sticks. The video is sped up, so there's a good chance that this isn't going to work. And in that case, I'm just going to have a splotch of glue on my mustache, which is going to be really gross looking. But if it does work, it kind of worked. It looks like I have Elmer's glue on my mustache. I think I put too much. Excuse me. Now my lips look weird. Okay, I think she was faking it. This is one of those things. We tested it. It failed. Oh, it kind of worked. So the trick is to like glue your lip to your upper lip. And it's supposed to be pretty. <laughs> or not. That's gross. Mm, so hopefully we can get all this glue off. Or else it's going to look very odd. Ugh, that was dumb. You guys don't try that at home. Ugh, stupid. Stupid. Dang kids make me do dumb stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put some liquid lipstick on. We're gonna stop this. Stop the madness. Okay, I'm using that same red color. This color makes your teeth look really, really white. Any blue-based red is gonna make your teeth look white. such tiny lips. I was really hoping that was going to work. And it's hard for me to find my lips too. I feel like they blend in very well, mostly because I put a ton of makeup on them and I can't really tell where they are, but on a normal day, I can't really find my lips either. We're done. We're masquerading. What do you guys think? It's probably the only pretty mask we're gonna do, so if you don't like it, tough cookies. My makeup is very, very heavy. Is it believable? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's painted on her face with a good eyeliner. Who knows? But that is our look. So tonight we did a masquerade mask and I think it actually turned out pretty dang good. We used a whole tube of liquid eyeliner. Thank God I bought a new one. We put stocking glitter on our eyes. We tried to glue our lip to our upper lip. We tried it all you guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you are going to be something for Halloween because I feel like it's always fun when people say, oh, hey, I'm going to be a clown for Halloween, I'll be like, I want to do a clown look. You know what I mean? So let me know. What are you going to be for Halloween? What do you want to see for Halloween? And, uh, yeah, you guys have an amazing Wednesday night. I feel very, very pretty. I'm not going to lie. I want to keep this on. I think I might actually, yeah, I like it. All right, you guys, you have a great night. Uh, send me ideas. Send me anything. Send me something. Uh, share this video if you want to. Uh, it is getting to be Halloween season, so share the love. People tend to like to watch me more when it's in season. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Bye.